Every tire has a Department of Transportation or DOT code. It's basically a born on date. The first two numbers show you the week and then the last two, the year it was made. Chances are a tire shop's probably not shown you that number, but if it's too old, safety experts say it could put you and your family driving down a dangerous road. Our kids are gonna bury us, not us but burying our kids. For Maria and Francisco Moraz, the pain of losing their son hurts daily. I miss his laugh. 18 year old Louise loves spending time with his big family in between work and college classes. His other love cars, one in particular. He would say, mom, mom, and you know, grab, what? Look, look, and I thought, you know, he's gonna show me a girl, you know? Uh, Mustang, Mustang, he would go. <laughs> he loved the classic Mustangs. The couple surprised Louise with a Ford Mustang. All it needed was some new tires. It doesn't even look like a Mustang. They put money first instead of uh, taking care of the life. Weeks before the wreck, Louise bought brand new tires. The family's attorney, Gary Eto, says while they had never been used, the tires were actually 12 years old. The obvious danger in this is aged tires lead to tread separations, and tread separations lead to catastrophic accidents. It is a hidden defect. Sean Kane is with Safety Research and Strategies, a consumer safety group. If you take an old rubber band, it's been sitting around for a long time. If you stretch it, you'll start to see it crack. OK, and you can't stretch it very often before it'll break. Kane says that's what happens to tires more than six years old. If you have an older tire, those stresses are going to cause the cracks to occur at a much higher frequency and much quicker. This animation shows at highway speeds the destruction caused when an old aging tire comes apart. Kane's safety group recently updated a federal agency on the hundreds of accidents, deaths, and injuries attributed to old tires. Should consumers okay. be worried about the age of their tires? Chronological age is just not a good indicator of whether a tire will perform or not. Dan Zelensky is with the Rubber Manufacturers Association, which represents the tire industry. He says there's no technical data to suggest tires will fail at a certain date. What consumers should be concerned about is how they use their tire, whether or not it's been properly man maintained, and how it's been stored. What should you do? Check your vehicle's owner's manual. General Motors just became the last U.S. car maker to put a tire age recommendation of six years old in their 2013 owner's manual. Foreign cars have included that warning for years. We wanted to see if local tire shops would pay any attention to the age of tires and warn us about installing them. Online, we bought a pair of never used tires from an East Coast tire shop. They were made nearly 10 years ago. When they arrived, it wasn't hard to see the tire's deep black color, but on the inside, the rubber appeared to be turning brown. Our undercover producer took the tires to four auto shops on both sides of the state line. Got a couple of tires I was hoping to get uh, mounted and balanced. At Tim's Tire Center in Olathe, a worker inspected our tires but wouldn't install them. He said they were the wrong model. Wrong tires. Those are a P metric and you need a light truck. So we moved on down the street to Rob's Auto Service. Do you need to look at the tires, make sure they're... Actually, what size are they? Do you know? I have no idea. The manager came out to look at the tires. Yeah, I can do this. That's no problem. An appointment was set, but nothing mentioned about their age. On our way out of Olathe, our producer stopped at Quest Auto Service on East Santa Fe. Do you need to come look at them? And... Oh, yeah, let me take a look at them. Okay. The right size. His only concern was that the snow tires would be temporary, but said nothing about their age. Bigger vans are even the uh, uh -huh. thicker tires to hold uh, the weight. Oh. These are just it's temporary that these will work. Okay, yeah, we're not hauling anything. I usually okay. just pick up the mail. Okay, yeah, that's, these are fine. Okay. An hour later, we left with the nearly 10-year-old tires mounted on the van. After a quick stop to get them taken off, our producer pulled into the Independence Firestone on Nolan Road. We might need to look at them to make sure they're the right one. The employee quickly spotted the tire's age. Do you have idea where they got these from? I don't. Is there a problem? They're nine years old for starters. Oh, is that bad? 
Yeah, tires that are over 10 years old or 10 years old or older, we can't even service. The tire's four digit dot code with the week and year of manufacture stopped him from installing the tires. That's what my concern is more than anything else. So it matters how old they are, not just yeah, yeah. I mean, how they just, look? Yeah, just the condition of the tire. I mean, because rubber is going to deteriorate over time, whether it's, you know, whether they're new or not. This tire shop worker knew what to look for on the tire, but as we discovered not every shop knows about tire aging. It's all up to you. If we had known all this information, just knowing to check on tires. Maria hopes no other parent feels her pain. If those tires hadn't been dried and old, you know, as they were, my son would still be alive right now. He would still be with us. He would still have a life. The shop that installed our nearly 10 year old tires in Olathe Quest Auto Services says they have a policy not to install tires over seven years, and this one snuck by them. And remember Rob's, where we had that appointment set? They now have a tire aging policy in effect. I'm Eric Shalhoub, KCTV 5 News.